I was just in a high school last week that had had numerous principals in a short period of time. Every year in less than a year, they had a new principal. They now have a principal uh, who's been there four years and there's been a dramatic turnaround in the school. And the principal and all of the key staff and now all of the staff really think child and adolescent development. And they understand that their job is to help the children grow. And that as they help the children grow, they will learn. And that's exactly what's happened. The ability to lead was the principal's understanding that all of the adults had to come together and that they had to collaborate. Um, they had to figure out the needs the, of the children, their, the needs of the staff, the needs of the parents, and they all had to figure out a way to address those needs together. And you could just feel the tone in the school. Um, they knew, and she knew, that you had to have a feeling that everybody belonged, and everybody had a task and a job, and really their job was to get along and work together so that they could support the needs of the children. That was a mindset, and that, was a, that just permeated everything. And when you talk to the students, we talked to the students, and over and over they said, we like this school because the teachers like us and we can interact with them and uh, they respect us and we respect them. That's the key. You have to create that in kind of environment. I must say that um, a number of years ago when I uh, went to visit Denmark because I heard that the Denmark school system, the entire system was like our school development program, um, I visited a, a Danish exchange, exchange student in an American school and then later went to his American classmates uh, in the school and interviewed them. The Danish exchange student talked about caring relationships between the teachers and parents and the support for their development, the students' development in school that came from both the teachers and the parents and how the whole school was organized to help them grow and how the students wanted to achieve um, for themselves but also to please the parents and the adults and so around them. And you know, it was organized so that uh, a, a teacher stayed with students and they brought other teachers in for the subject areas. But this whole fo focus on development <coughs> This whole focus on development was very important. Well, that's what I saw in that school that was turned around, a high school. We sometimes forget that high school students are in the process of development. Very critical times. We often, you can convince many people that middle kids need support for development, but they think middle school, high school, no. Much of the acting up and acting out that you see in middle schools and high schools, because we have not provided constructive opportunities for young people to address themselves, uh, to express themselves, uh, and to uh, achieve and accomplish in a, in a uh, constructive kind of way. And that's what I saw in that high school. And there was an understanding that children at middle high school age need opportunities to express themselves, need opportunities to talk about the things they're troubled about. Um, that has to be built into the curriculum, which is what, again, I saw. It was embedded in the curriculum, the activities, opportunities for young people to explore, to raise questions, um, to express themselves in a whole variety of ways. But all of it grew out of an understanding of development and how important it is and how it makes it possible for children to learn.